Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about colour. This is for those of you who missed your art lesson when um, we had rainy day procedure or whether you're still a little bit confused just to prepare you for Monday's exam. Okay, so we're going to basically start with the three primary colours. Okay, if we look at our colour wheel, remember this is here to assist you. It's a very basic colour wheel. We start off with our three primary colours. So our three primary colours are red, yellow and blue. Okay, the three primary colours are able using tints, shades, tones, mixtures, they are able to create any colour. Okay, no colours can create a primary colour, primary colours can create other colours. Okay, so again, our three primary colours, red, yellow, blue. So on my page, I'm going to colour. I'm going to do this quite quickly, not as neatly as I normally would. Okay, so I'm going to colour in my red. Yellow. And my blue. When you come for your exam on Monday or for your for formal assessment on Monday, please make sure that you have colours just in case I ask you to do something with them. Okay, so there are three colours. Red, yellow, blue. Primary colours. Now, Secondary colours are basically a mixture of your primary colours. So you have primary colour 1 plus primary colour 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So secondary colours, when we mix colours, I'm going to actually mix these colours for you so you can see it better. Okay, so we start with red and blue. If I mix red and blue, I get violet. You can see this on our colour wheel. Remember, keep referring back to your colour wheel. So if we start, there's red, there's blue. If I mix them, the secondary color that gets made is violet, okay, like purple. So we take our red. And our blue, and it makes like a violety, purpley color. When I mix my yellow and my blue, my yellow and my blue form green and create green. So I take my yellow, my blue, go softly over it. Remember, this is not going to form perfect color because it's crayon, but it'll give you a nice idea of how to mix it and all right I get a tiny bit darker <sighs> okay then my last primary color yellow and red whoopsie let's get rid of that yellow and red make orange okay so I'm going to start with my yellow again Mix it with my red. And there you have like an orangey color. Okay. All right. So when we did our still lifes last term and we spoke about the backgrounds, I say to you, it was a good idea to think about what colors are going to make your objects stand out the most. And I mentioned about using complementary colors. So when you give someone a compliment, you are saying something nice about them. You are making them feel good. Okay, often we compliment someone on what they look like. So when we talk about a complementary color, we're talking about a color that makes another color look good. 
Okay, basically that's how you think about it. So how we see this, again we go back to our color wheel and the saying opposites attract is, <laughs> is basically what we're going to talk about here. So you always look for the opposite color on the color wheel to see what is the complementary color. What color makes that color stand out the most. Okay, so if I look at red and I go down, my complementary color for red would be green. Okay, so nothing looks better next to red than green. Nothing makes green stand out more than red. Okay, if I look at my next primary color, I go to yellow, I move across, go to the opposite side, and there I go to violet. So again, nothing makes yellow stand out more than violet. Nothing makes violet stand out more than yellow. Okay, and then our last one, the opposite of blue would be orange. So orange and blue would be complementary colors. And this is often seen in things like flags. All right, so if you look at the, the Portuguese flag, the Portuguese flag stands out so nicely because it's got that red and green. Okay, so how I'm going to do it, I always like to start with my primary colors. Okay, so I'm just going to color in for my red. Okay, again, look on the opposite side of your color wheel. So red, go down, opposite is green. And I'm not going to mix the color this time. I have the color, so I'm going to just use the color. Okay. Go to my yellow. Okay. Go to my color wheel, go across from yellow, across to violet. Okay, now unfortunately I don't have a purple crayon, so I'm going to use a pink. Now remember, pink is actually red that has got a white tint in it. So when we add white to a color, we are adding a tint. So I can still make purple because it is technically red, a lighter red. And I'm just going to add my blue because red and blue make purple or violet. Okay, there's my violet. All right, and then lastly, my blue. Go back to the color wheel, there's my blue, go across to the opposite side, is orange. So I'm take my orange, I can color in my orange. Okay. All right, then we talk about related colors. So if we talk about people who are related, we are talking about people who come from the same family, who are family. Now, when we think about mom and dad, mom and dad are related because they are married, but they are not related by blood. Okay. And this is how I like to remember my related colors, that your primary colors are the mom and the dad. Okay. So mom and dad are not related by blood, but the children that they have are related because they are brothers and sisters. They have the same blood as mom, they have the same blood as dad. So when we're talking about related colors, we do the same thing. So we look at our primary color. So I am going to start with red, okay? So I'm going to look at everything from red all the way to yellow. But I'm not going to include yellow because yellow is its own primary color. So I'm going to start red, red-orange, 
orange, yellow, orange. So these colors are all related. Okay, but yellow, yellow, orange, orange, and red, orange are also related. Okay, the only two colors not related are red and yellow. Okay, we can do the same with the yellow, the yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green. They are all related. Blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green. They are all related. So basically how you do it is you start at the one primary color and you stop before the next when you look at your color wheel. Okay, and just a thing to remember, when you learned about the compass in geography and you learned about how to say directions in grade four, you spoke about north, south, east and west being your cardinal points, but your north and south were the most important ones. They were the main ones. So when you spoke about something coming between north and east, you always said it as northeast all right because you wanted the main one first now it's the same with primary colors you always say the primary color first and then the secondary color or the tertiary color so instead of saying orange red you would always say red orange because red is the primary color just a little fun fact there for you all right so related colors i've only got three here Okay, they are technically, on this color wheel, they are technically six, but we're just going to do the three. Okay, so I'm going to start, remember, again, I always like to start with the three primary colors. So I'm going to start with red. Now, red has to go all the way through. Okay, because if you are related to someone, it means that you have the same blood as them. So red has to have some red all the way through. We just go lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay. All right. If I look at my color wheel again, so we go red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange. So I've got my red already going to take my orange and I'm going to go over the top of the red to make my red orange okay oopsie there's my orange and I'm going to go a little bit lighter see red is still all the way through just it's not as obvious and now I can add my yellow but remember it's not yellow standing on its own okay so there we have our related colors from red red orange orange yellow orange okay almost looks like a bit of a flame Let's try the blue. Okay, again, if something is related to the blue, it means that it has to have blue in it. So we're going to start dark. And we're going to go lighter and lighter all the way across. And then we are going to add, remember I don't have purple, so I'm going to have to just use a little bit of pink. So now we need to go from blue to blue violet, violet, red violet. This would work so much better if I had a purple. And 
just take my glue over just to smudge it a little bit more and there you go there we can see we go from blue blue violet violet to red violet and then lastly we start with our yellow remember yellow carries all the way through nice and lightly we're going from yellow whoops wrong way we're going from yellow to yellow green green blue green okay so we start with my yellow green pushing harder green And then to blue green so we just add a little bit of blue over the top all right so there we've gone yellow yellow green green blue green all right so those are our related colors now we're going to move on to warm colors. Now, immediately when you think of something warm, you think of something red, something orange, something yellow, and that's exactly right. When you think of something cool, you think of something blue, something darker color, okay? And again, we go back to our color wheel and we look at where the warm colors start. So the warm colors, we are going to start with red, okay? Now, remember red violet has got blue in it so it is already starting to become a cooler color all right so when we look at it we are going to split it between the red and we're going to move all the way down to there okay so between the red violet and red and between the green and yellow green and everything on this side the red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green. Those are all your warm colors. Those are your warm and fuzzy ones that make you think of summer. Okay. Everything on the other side of the wheel, your red, violet, violet, blue, violet, blue, blue, green, and green is cool colors. Green's a little bit of a tricky one. It depends on how much yellow is in the green, how much blue is in the green. So... Green kind of falls in the middle there somewhere. All right, so let's do that thing quickly. So we're going to start again. We start with our primary color. I'm going to start with red. And I'm going to take my red all the way down to about... two thirds of the way down. Okay, I'm going to take my orange to make my red orange my orange and I'm going to take that to about three quarters down let's make it a little bit darker for you guys then I'm going to go to my yellow okay my yellow orange my yellow yellow goes all the way down okay and then my green because now I'm making yellow green remember yellow green has got more yellow in it than blue which is why it's a warm color okay so there are my warm colors my cool colors other way around so I could start with blue but then technically it wouldn't be correct so we are going to start funny enough with red you probably think I'm going crazy but I promise I'm not okay why am I starting with red because if I look at my color wheel and I start and I see the first one is red violet so I have to have a little bit of red in but red violet has got blue in it and there we 
Vega. So we have our red violet. Violet. Blue. I can go down a bit. Okay, to my blue green. that in a little bit more okay so there you can see the cool colors and automatically you can see that warm colors gives you that fire feeling the cold colors give you an icy feeling all right then the last one and then i promise we're almost done then the last one is monochromatic colors so you started learning long time ago about prefixes and suffixes and when we talk about prefixes regarding numbers of things you started learning about things like bicycle tricycle quad bike okay bicycle has two wheels because the prefix by means two tricycle has three wheels because the prefix tri has means three quad means four now mono means one okay but remember also that black and white are technically not colors okay white is a tint if i add white to anything it lightens okay it's a tint white lightens tint when you tint your hair you get highlights okay it goes lighter when you very hot and you go stand in the shade you go stand in the shade because it's darker and it's cooler all right that's how you remember a shade when you shade something you're adding black it's getting darker okay if you're adding a tone it means that you're adding gray all right so a monochromatic color basically means that you are using one color but you are going from the darkest shade to the lightest tint which basically means you are going from black all the way through to white in a color all right so I'm going to start with my black. Okay, and I'm going to go lighter and lighter. Let's so work my way down. Okay, until I go through to white. Okay, then you could add your color. I just want to make this a little bit darker just to get the shading right. Okay, and then you could add your color. Okay, so from the darkest shade of red, which would be black, all the way through. To the lighter shade which would be oh sorry excuse me to the lightest tint which would be white okay and there you have it made a nice big mess of my desk all right and that is basically all you really need to know about your color so don't forget guys on monday when you come for your art assessment okay you need to make sure that you have colors with you just in case all right have a great weekend stay warm see you monday